Now, how can I make an excuse to upload something? Whoa! That's lie, bro. It's a ray of something. I call it a bright line. It's like cruising in the middle of nowhere. Welcome to the physics. Optics is about light. Light comes out of everything. You see, atoms get exquisite playing hot potato. You got your energy coming in, the electrons eat and get all bonkers, causing it to push away from the nucleus. And now they gotta release themselves. Yo! You see, light's like the waste product of electrons, you feel me? The crap's electromagnetic. Light's got this rhythmic oscillation with two faces to it. Call it the main character. It gets malicious when it meets the eye. It'd be like... Dude, I can see, man! He can see. Depending on her mood, light can be a wave or a particle, I don't freaking know. Well, neither does science, but let's just say it's both. Light can get the game on by getting stretchy or shrinky. They create the whole family. But human eyes are garbage, we can only see visible light out of everything. But there's colors. When light waves hit an object, they can absorb, reflect, transmit, they could like interact and cancel each other. But everything you see is just what bounces back to your eye. Take an object. When all the waves get absorbed, it's black. When it's all reflected, it's white. If all of them gone and what, frickin' green bounces back, the object's green. Next, let me demonstrate the mirror. It's like glass with a delicate sprinkle of metal in the cuisine. It got throbbing charged particles on the metal surface. And with the beam, it does this. The process starts with a ray hitting the mirror at an angle. They call it the incident. Oh, look! It just bounced at the same angle. That's the law of reflection. Any angle. It's the same on the other side, bro. Only worked with the flat model, though, so let's get blasphemous. This is the curvy update. Light gets wacky with the shift in surface. You see, these mirrors are A-grade special. They can make light lie to you. Concaves make stuff look jumbo. You get that HD experience with you, bringing that light tight to the focal point. Convexes boost that FOV, that's why they're tradition with cars. But a drawback is that they make objects look smaller. They split up that light. I hope you know that. Yo, hear me out. Mirrors ain't original, but they criminals. They plagiarize light's work, copying the objects light comes from, previously demonstrated, and showing it off openly like they own it? I mean, they add their twist by reversing the direction, like my right hand looks like my left hand in the mirror. Bit of creativity, touche. But brother, I'm not satiated. They freaking copycats, bro. Like, look at my reflection. It's copying everything I do. But they call that an image. The light rays need to crisscross applesauce to create, like, a real image. It's upside down. But if light breaks up, they don't do that. So take the reflected rays, go backwards till they shabanga and pretend there's something there. <laughs> Light hits its full potential when it goes through nothing, but she hesitates when the medium she goes through changes. Look at this dusty sunbeam popping in the earth. This little glare slows down when it hits the air, causing it to bend. He can't comprehend. And this happens. So on earth, it looks like the sun's here, but it's actually here. Check out air to water. See how the pen looks funky? Ray comes in at an angle, then it bends at another angle. If you want numbers, there's a law for that. Persian guy Ibn Sahel got wacky and figured it out. But brother Snell takes the credit. So we got reflection and refraction. Sometimes both can happen. There's also lens, but I'll save that for later. I gotta work on the history video. 